Hey everybody, Mickey here. Welcome back to the Final Fantasy X walk. Lots of turmoil and sadness last time. Hudesha, go, go, go! Three minute moved! Reno, Reno! We reach a one minute! Where's Yuna? I don't know how who put? I don't know how you made her. I said, where is she? Answer me! Answer me, damn you! What do you do when you find her, eh? I... I... I didn't know anything about what a summoner is... is supposed to do. And I told her all those things without even knowing. I've got to tell her. I've got to tell her I'm sorry! That's it? You're gonna tell her you're sorry? And then you just drag her to Zanakin and make her fight Sheen, huh? You're all the same. Let the summoner die so we can live in peace! No! Ah, words! Show me action! I'm telling you, she won't die! Boy, don't forget those words. Cause if you do... I'm gonna make you regret it. I won't. So you know where she is? Of course not! That's why we're gonna look! Using this airship! A airship? They run! They total coup! Evil Maker 1000 years, Ujantia! Forbidden Makeda. They don't. Mira!
Hey, look, don't get so down. Boom! <laughs> like happy festival fireworks, yeah? You can cram your happy festival, you big meanie. A ton about that scene that's very over the top. Sid throwing Titus over his shoulder. Why didn't I just shut my big mouth? Waka trying to help the Albed and thinking that it was fireworks. I'm surprised that they've never flown this thing either. What Brother was saying here, I mean, he specifically was so surprised that it could fly to begin with. Something to note here, if you go over to Brother and press square, you can actually go ahead and recruit Brother. This is the first time that I believe we can. You can recruit Brother for Blitzball. I guess I'll recruit him for three games. I'm not really sure if I'll even get the chance to use him, but he is, in my opinion, by far the best Blitzball player that you can get. He's extremely fast. Let's go ahead and replace, I'd say, Bada. And also, you can go ahead, if you'd like, you can go ahead and recruit Waka as well. Something I'd showcase there. This is tough on all of us. Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, it's most tough on the Albed. They just lost their home. They just suffered all these casualties and fatalities. I'm okay. I'm fine. Really. Well, let's talk to Sid. Did you find out anything about Yuna? I'm looking into it, okay? <sighs> Don't worry, I'm using a sphere of cellophinder. If she's out there, we'll get her. A sphere of cellophinder? Is an ancient machina. I don't know how it works either, so don't ask me, okay? And you still use it? <laughs> I don't even rightly know how this rig flies either. <gasps> All because of the given taboo on machina, we're running around in the dark here. Ain't it a rush, kiddos? <laughs> As much as Sid is just outrageous, I do like him as a character. He just has no clue how to use any of this shit, but he's all for it. Whether Yuna's safe or not, there's trouble brewing. Whether Yuna's safe. I thought he would have some extra dialogue, but yeah, a lot to chew on since last time. Yuna possibly dying from summoning or doing something with the final Aeon. Sorry, never forget the Albert sacrifice. Kimari will use Machina if Machina can find Yuna. We've got the Albed fighting off the Guado, which how the hell did they know that we're over here or that Yuna was over here? We owe our lives to the Albed. However, no matter how they beg, we cannot quit our pilgrimage. Even though you'll die? I've known since I was a child. My will is set. If I do not do it, someone else must, you understand. Yeah, that's the real problem about Spira and Sin. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to take him out. Hey, I'm not looking forward to my brother dying when this is all over. If only there was some way of doing it without anyone dying. Let's think of one. Easier said than done. If we had all the time in the world, yeah, we'd think of something. And while we were thinking, Sin would kill us all. Spira doesn't have that time. This is a pretty grim way of looking at it. I'm amazed this thing can fly, truly. It must be sacrilege to think so highly of a machina. I feel uneasy just riding it. Sure it's not motion sickness? Motion sickness? What infirmity is that? Yeah, we'll learn a little bit more about the airship that we're on pretty soon here. Well, well. It appears you too have escaped harm. You were on the ship too? 
I came to home to pick up some goods and found myself here. Quite the escape. <sighs> Thankfully, my goods were spared. Please let me know if you need any of my wares. Well, just like over at the Makalania Rin's Traveling Agency, have access to the HP plus 10%, which is not bad at all. If you'd like, you could go ahead and pick these up and customize HP plus 20 on them. Get a lot of HP boots there. Thank you. Your patronage is very much appreciated. All proceeds will go to help restore home. Ah, how is your progress with our language? None too shabby. Check this out. Hella do sadwi. Just repeating what I've said is not talking now. But your pronunciation's quite passable. You've been studying, I see. Yeah, we just about have most of the Albed primers. Before doing anything too much further, let's go ahead and fill out some of the sphere grid with the levels that we got back over at home. But yeah, the reason why I'm not getting the HP plus 20% right now is specifically because, well, I'll show it off, but I only have 9 elixirs. Now, if I had 10, which I believe I could have had by this moment, actually, if I had 10, I'd be able to customize it twice, and I think I would have gone for it to give someone like Titus and Orin, or maybe Titus and Riku. I'm not really sure who. I would give it to, but I would definitely consider actually customizing it if I could give it to two people, but I only have nine elixirs and it costs five to actually use. Could have got the tenth elixir over at the Thunder Plains by literally just getting hit by lightning over and over and over again, but I instead I ended up getting the Power Sphere, or Strength Spheres, not Power Spheres, the Strength Spheres that I wanted by dodging them in the first try, so I really didn't get it hit by very many. So let's see here, if I go ahead to a random piece of armor, and go down a little bit, there's the HP plus 20% that we could get, but like I said, only got 9, I'm not going to be able to do it. Well, do it twice, I should say. Let's go ahead and change our equipment and weapons specifically to just neutral damage. There's a specific reason as to why later, but I think Aura is the only person that I need to go ahead and change. In various other compartments of the airship, you can go ahead and talk to the Albed. They just say more about losing home and things of that matter. But I think if we go over here, this guy says, your face, I've seen it before, perhaps in the temple at Baj. And so this guy is specifically somebody who we ran into at the very beginning of the game when we met Riku and we fought off the, what was that thing? It was like the Xyphos creatures that you run into at Makalania. But basically, yeah, uh, some of the Albed, well, he does at least, actually remembers us. Remembers us as a Titus. If you go down here, this is where the Albed Sykes, the Blitzball team, this is where they're, they're located. Can't recruit them right now because they play for the Albed Sykes. The child that have played only Blitz, it is true. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, this, those Guado, they will feel no wrath. No. Is that right? They will feel my wrath in the Blitz Sphere. <laughs> I mean, I think it's kind of interesting because shouldn't the Guado be essentially exiled from everything? I mean, can they really keep everything that they just did to the Albed secret? After rescuing Yuna, then what? You want to keep her safe, correct? Would you seek to stop her pilgrimage? Of course! If she continues this fool pilgrimage, she will die. Sure as if you killed her yourself. No hair-brained law or teaching can send my little niece to her death. 
When I save her, I'll make her give up being a summoner quicker than a desert melts ice. Even against her will? Better than a dog's death. And I'll take down anyone who don't agree! You are the captain. Good! Then it's settled. Sid's take on things are kind of an ends justify the means. He's willing to take out anybody to just stop Yuna being her niece. Well, actually, let's talk to Walker about that. He called Yuna his uh, niece, right? I mean, so that makes her out bad, right? Don't say it. Yuna's Yuna, right? <laughs> Yuna's Yuna, right? He's <laughs> so baffled by everything. Yeah, Sid has a no-nonsense approach to the whole summoning ordeal. I think she really wants to. No matter what happens, Yuna won't give up her pilgrimage. Well, you can end up talking to everybody. This kind of stumps a little it stumps people from the very beginning who've never played the game. Let him say what he wants. Let him say. Okay. Here I keep thinking the Orin's got more to say, but I guess not. But to move forward with the progression here of the story, uh, you could go ahead and talk to everybody, but you specifically want to go ahead and speak with Brother. Fitran! For Fortuna! Frana! Efim Krufui! Yuna! Palace of St. Bevel, heart of Yevon. Gramps, let's move! Easy, kiddo. Bevel's defenses are top-notch. What's the matter, Gramps? You scared? Yuna's there, so we go and get her! And that's all! <laughs> you got guts? God, we can do Bevel! It'll take a while to get to Bevel. Meanwhile, we prepare for battle. Everybody mentions that they're at Bevel, but no one mentioned that Seymour was right there. What's Seymour doing alive? Didn't we take care of him in Makalania? He is dead. As dead as Jiskal was. His attachment to this world kept him from the next. Oh, scary. And we begin to figure out from Orin that people can stay in Spira if their attachment from this world isn't fulfilled? A deep emotion? I'm not really too sure how it all works, but Seymour's still here. The city of Bevel is built on the water. There may be underwater fighting. You or Riku should study your magic, just in case. We'll let you be with the magic. We've got other things that we can do. Yuna must be trying to send him. Wonder if that'll work. Perhaps he won't expect it. I feel like if I was in Seymour's shoes, that would be the first thing I'd expect. We are being attacked from within. Some of the guado that attacked home must have snuck on board. You're awfully calm about it. I am calm about most things. Fiends! It has nothing to do but... But destroy the ship and all go down together. Huh? Huh. You gotta learn a little restraint, Pops. If you crash the ship, we can't go rescue Uni. Leave the fiends to us professionals. Yeah, let's go. Thanks. Riku, you've made some very good friends, I think. Good luck. 
I'm hoping that Eunice's comment was more off of levity than anything. Don't worry, we'll guard this area. It would be absolutely ridiculous to blow up the only airship I believe in the world. Just because there's a few fiends on it. I mean, don't they have guns? I don't know, who knows. Take these guys out. I'd like to go ahead and fill up Titus's overdrive before ending this section. This is kind of a... Uh, how would you describe this? This is a little bit... Um, well, we gotta fight these random battles to level up if we'd like, but they're not really necessary. We could stop it as soon as I'd like to, but uh, I'll show you how in just a second. Let's go back to walk. Sure, walk up. And let's try to get a kill. Oh, I guess Orin hasn't gone yet, has he? Try to get the kill with Titus because I think if I get one more kill, I can actually get the. Yep, a full overdrive. It's not necessary to get the full overdrive, but it helps a little bit. As always, you know me, I like to stock up on those overdrives. Be careful. We'll leave the other compartments to you. Actually, that makes me think. We see Isaru, Moroda, and Pase. Oh, there's Donna. That's what I was going to ask. Where's Donna? It's too cramped to call Aeons here. I'll leave this fight to you. Show us your stuff. Yeah, not, so, not too hot without Bartello now, are you? Anyway, if we go over here in this section of the airship... Get a few Albed potions. What did he say? Do the Yevin worms think to kill us all? Good God! If we head over here, huh. now there's a rare sight. Get a short clip. Whoa, that's huge! And direction on what to do next. What is that? The guardian worm. Evre, the great sacred beast, protector of Bavel. <laughs> the red carpet has teeth. Wait, that means we're close to Bavel. Riku, you read me! We're gonna fight that thing! Get on deck and show him what you got! Go! There he goes again! The ferryman asks a high price. Well, I don't think I've talked to the NPC. I think I might have passed up on them there. I think they were like right over here or something. But basically they state that the airship here, it's the... Oh, it was Riku actually. Riku said it. I just need to talk to her more at a specific point. But this airship was the same exact uh, artifact that we dug up in the very beginning of the game. So, I guess everything comes to a conclusion there with that. We'll go on and look at Evray next time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll catch you later.